and our next guest is a very, very funny man. You've seen him on Wild and Out, and you can also see him now as the host of Celebrity Squares Tuesdays on BH1. It's your guy, DC Young Fly, host of the new Celebrity Squares. Let's talk about these topics. What's your favorite pose? Don't have me do a handstand up here on this platform. Yeah. Let's talk about these prizes. Correct! Oh, and can we talk about these celebrities? Y'all make some noise for Miss Tisha Campbell! I'm done talking. Let's play. I can't say nothing. <laughs> no. <laughs> I have to comment on, this is not, it's your normal costume. You look so sharp every episode, man. Thanks. I love how you dress. Thanks. Yes. Thanks. That, I know. I do. I love how you dress. It's like, Thanks. it's so sharp. I love it. Yeah. I had, I, had, I had to, you know what I'm saying, step it up, you know what I mean, put on the suit, you know what I mean, take the street clothes off and just, you know, shower enough a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> So wait, did you get into costumes when you were a kid? I tried to do a little something, something. See, I'm a, this a real vampire. See, back in the day, we okay. I couldn't be the, the real vampire. Like, we had the teeth, but I ain't never had a cape or none of that stuff. You know, we uh -huh. got our teeth from Family Dollar. Oh. So, <laughs> the these teeth right yeah. here, this the longest the teeth have ever stayed in my mouth. I, we, did the, we, we did the Family Dollar as well. I was like, people were like, we're going to Party City. I'm like, you're rich. No, oh, this, like, we went to Family like, Dollar, we had the one that go up top and the one that go on the bottom. Like, you could see it when we talking. And it like came out as you were talking. I was, I spit on everybody. Connected, I know. I know, I think I spit on Kyle earlier and I was like, oh my God, so much saliva. I'm just saying. Do you see Keith? I know. Hey. Oh. Wait. So I imagine you were like the class clown. Have you always been like a little comedian? Have you Man, always I always, you know, had good sense of humor, you know what I mean? Just coming up from the west side of Atlanta, you dig what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know, I never thought I was gonna be a comedian. No? I never thought, but you know, when God directed my footpath, you know what I mean, yeah. my steps, I just kept on going, you dig? Yeah, well God will give you opportunity. You have to take the opportunity and Every it. opportunity yeah. and put it in the chokehold. Have you ever been, since, since you weren't always into it, have you ever been, like, have you ever had stage fright? Like, been scared of stage It's not, fright? you know, I come from theater. Okay. So, you know, it's... Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. You got some theater majors in here? Yeah. Yes, sir. So I come from theater, so it wasn't never, you know, hard for me to adjust. I just never knew that I was had to be a comedian first, because I did comedy, I mean, I, I did music, so I never knew that, like, I had to tell jokes for a living. Yeah, <laughs> but wait, but I have to ask, even with theater, though, I knew friends, like, I, I wasn't ever, like, really stage fright, but I had right. friends that were terrified, even in theater. Like, No, were... like, this right here, like, I love this. Like, this right here, you see this? <laughs> see, you gotta, you gotta know how to own that right there. Part of theater, see, people don't understand that y'all are part of the emotion. So when we on stage, when we hear y'all, every time we do something, we hear y'all, to the actors that's on stage, we like, yeah. mm, maybe we should get more deep into what we're doing because the audience is letting us know, like, I feel you. They're responding, yeah. Right. Yeah. Have y'all ever been stage fright? Oh, yes. Sure, I got it right now. <laughs> I went to hypnotherapy well. for my stick. For... No. Did you say you went to therapy for I went to hypnotherapy for, yes, oh. I did. Does that work? Because I'd really like to not love sugar. Um, <laughs> I think it works. I did, you know, did it for also for flying, my fear of flying. Oh, but yeah. I used to have a huge scared fear of flying. flying. You scared of flying now? I, not anymore. Oh, okay. But hypnotherapy worked. Okay. <laughs> you know what helped me a bit is I took um, lessons a bit in flying. I was terrified at first. I'm not and... that fearless. I'm like... <laughs> so you got hypnotized? I did. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, watch out. If we, like, clap twice, she might cluck like a chicken. Exactly. It's like, yeah, it's like, go out. <laughs> so, wait, so hosting Celebrity Squares, is this fun? You look like you're having so much Listen, fun. Listen, I'm trying to, I want to bring all y'all along to the I, show. Yeah, Keith, you gonna come to the I'm show? Yeah. Celebrity Squares, you gonna I come get it? You gonna come? I'm there. See, that's what yeah. I'm talking about. That's all it's about. Only if I can play against them. That's all it's about. 
You know, I, it's, it's just a family-oriented show. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a game where we play tic-tac-toe, but we got so many people that's on the, 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 the cast, like Chico Bean, you know what I'm saying, Carlos Miller. We even got Babyface. I love Babyface. I love Babyface. Baby. You, yeah. Yeah. Babyface. Keith, you know Babyface. I love Babyface. Oh, <laughs> Keith, know Babyface. <laughs> But, oh you, but we, we, we don't brought such of a great energy, you know what I'm saying, to VH1. And I feel like, you know, Celebrity Square is going to be here for, you know, 10 plus years. Yeah. You People I mean? love to tune in for like a fun game and everybody kind of out of their element, seeing them do something else. I love that. And not only that, you can, you can be yourself. Because, you know, we all got jobs. But we also, like, we want to have fun, too. So yeah. it's like, what show can we come on that we can just chill and do? You have fun? You have fun? <laughs> you have fun on your show? Fun? No. It is key. Uh, that's because you're always talking about <laughs> death, man. Yeah. Every night. <laughs> I just watched you last night for three hours. Was I talking about death? Yes. <laughs> I don't have fun oh on my God. show with either. <laughs> So when did, cause I did not think I would be a host ever. Right. Did you have like any kind of learning curve, like thing that happened that you were like, woo, okay. But see, when you, when you, in theater, when you, that's why I'm glad I come from theater because it's like improv. When, yeah. It's like a monkey ranch. When, some, when somebody throws something out there, you gotta adjust fast. Yeah. So when I'm, when I'm doing the hosting, it's just more so me being in my head say, how can I be the best host right now if I was a host? Who, who am I? Yeah. And why would I be hosting? And I had to bring that energy. I don't never limit myself. You know, I always feel like I could do anything, especially God keep waking me up every morning. I'm going to go to work. I love it. I love it. All right, we need another commercial break, but you can catch DC Young Fly host Celebrity Squares Tuesdays on VH1.